Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see about the complementation test problems, about the theory of complementation test. About that, I have already uploaded a video. Uh, I will mention that link in the description box. Plus, I will mention the video in the i button. So let's get started with the video. In this particular video, we are going to see the three, four problems of complementation test. So you are able to understand very well that how you have to solve the problems of complementation test. So let's get started with the video, guys. So let's see first about the theory of complementation a little bit so that you will be able to solve the problems very easily. So here, if we see in this diagram, if you can see that this eye red eye color phenotype is present, and this is responsible because of the two genes, the A gene and B gene. Two genes are responsible for this red eye color. Okay, this is red eye color. Here we are considering about the eye color. So if, for example, if this A gene is mutated, then this red eye color will not be formed as both genes are needed. And even if B gene is mutated, then also this red eye color will not be formed. This is the basic genetics about that we know. Now let's relate it with the complementation test. So here an example is given about the drosophila eye. Here the example is of drosophila eye. So let's talk about this. Please look at this part. Here you can see that a white eye drosophila is crossed with a white eye drosophila only. Why these two are white eye? Because in this the gene B is mutated and in this gene A is mutated. That's why these two are of white eyed instead of the red color as A and B both genes are needed for the red eye. Now what happened when these two we have crossed these two then the offspring is red eyed. That was shocking. How come the, draw, how come the offspring can be of red, red type when the parents are of white type? This occur because a gene and B gene, normal A gene and normal B gene is present in the offspring. That's why the offspring is of red eye. So what happened in this condition? In this condition, complementation has occurred. Complementation has occurred between these two. Between this genes and between this gene, complementation has occurred. That's why the offspring is red eye. So when complementation will occur, Complementation will occur when a product is encoded by two genes. It is not encoded by one gene, but it is encoded by two genes. Here you can see. Then what will happen? Even if the parents are mutated, the offspring will be of wild type because here, as you can see, A and B has complemented each other. That's why they are what wild type. So this is what complementation is that even if the parents are uh, mutated, offspring will be wild type if the phenotype is present on two genes and two genes will complement each other. Now let's see how we'll be solving the problems of complementation test. So let's first see about a basic example so that from that you will be able to solve the complicated question if you understand this simple example. So here what is showing is that two mutation here you can see deletion mutation and deletion mutation is written. So what is this deleted mutation? This deleted mutation is showing in the E. coli strain. What we have done, we have mutated three E. coli for a specific phenotype. For this specific phenotype, we have mutated the three E. coli and we have crossed them together. So what will happen here? You can see a positive sign in the table and here you can see a negative sign in the table. The positive sign is showing that the offspring is of wild type and the offspring has shown complementation. What this is showing that the that the offspring has shown complementation even if uh, uh, the father or the mother was mutated but the offspring is wild type. But the negative is showing that the offspring is also the mutated type like that of their parents. So there no complementation has occurred. From this you can basically under the understand that positive means complementation has occurred and negative means no complementation has occurred. Plus this thing can also tell us that if complementation has occurred then the two parents that is father and mother 
in father and mother different genes were mutated for example if this uh, a, in this a gene was mutated then in this b gene was mutated okay if i cross this type of cross then a a b b okay this is father was crossed with mother okay in this a gene is mutated and in this b gene is mutated so what will happen the offspring will be of this type and it will be of wild type so from this what we came to know that here the complementation has occurred because the parents because the mutation in the parents has occurred on different genes on two different genes while in this condition if no complementation has occurred then we can say that the genes were same that were mutated for example these were mutated matlab a was mutated in both the condition that's why the offspring is also mutated okay so from this we can find out that the parents are mutated with same gene or parents are mutated with different genes so in positive condition the parents are mutated with different genes and in negative condition the parents are mutated with one gene only please remember that also this is also important so you have to remember two things positive as in complementation plus mutation in two genes negative as in no complementation and mutation in one gene now let's see the table so here it is showing that when we crossed one and one when we have crossed one and one negative offspring has occurred as in no complementation has occurred obviously because in these two same gene is mutated so it can cannot show complementation when we crossed one with two then positive has occurred that means that two different genes are mutated so we can say first contain a different type of mutated gene and second contain a different type of mutated gene in this condition first and third all uh, the first and third contains no complementation there no complementation has occurred in the offspring so that we can say that in first and third same gene is mutated and first and third same gene is mutated if we move further in second and first here you can see in second and first similar result will be formed uh, likewise of the top in uh, second and first different genes were mutated that's why offspring is what offspring is uh, complementary offspring is wild type while in this condition the third and second is also showing the complementation that means that the two different genes were mutated so from here what we can find out that the first and third are mutated for one gene and the second is mutated for another gene okay so from this uh, table what you can find out is that two genes here we have taken two genes uh, one is mutated in one and three and the second is mutated in the second parent or uh, and what we can find out that this one and three is one complementation group and this second is another complementation group okay this one and three is one complementation group and the second is another complementation group that's why when they came together they have shown the complementation let's clear this more with a very good example so let's see a example so let's see the question what is the question is saying that seven arginine requiring mutants of e coli were independently isolated all pair wise matings were done to determine number of complementation groups if positive is showing that growth is occurring and negative is showing no growth is occurring what is the complementation groups how many complementation groups are there so here i will tell you that positive is that complementation has occurred and negative is saying that no complementation has occurred so in this question what is saying that e coli we have taken e coli seven different e coli we have taken and the phenotype which of which we are talking about is arginine we have mutated the genes that are responsible for the arginine formation in these seven strains now we have to see that how many genes are involved and how many complementation groups are formed so let's get started first we will see the cross between one and one obviously it will come negative then if we see the cross between first and second then it is positive 
that mean complementation has occurred so first is in different gene and second is of different gene okay so these are two different groups first is in different complementation group and second is in different complementation group if i see first when crossed with third then also positive result has occurred then first and third are also in different complementation group first and fourth and fifth are also in different complementation group as it is showing positive result so different genes are mutated in this condition while in six and seven the case is negative so from that i can say that one six seven are in same complementation group or the same gene is mutated till now i can say that by seeing the first now i will move to second in second second and three are showing positive result that mean complementation occurred so second and third are also in different complementation group second and fourth is also in different complementation group as it has shown what it has shown positive results then second and fifth is showing negative so second and fifth can be in same group from now we can say that second and fifth can be in same group second sixth and seventh can uh, is in different complementation group because they are, because they are showing positive results so i have mentioned them in different complementation group below uh, before all now if we see about the third third with fourth is showing negative that mean no complementation has occurred that means that they can be present in same gene okay so they are present in same complementation group sorry third and fourth sorry and then third and fifth has also showing positive results that's what is saying that they are present on different complementation group i have already done that then third and sixth also different okay third and seventh also in different complementation group so here you can you have done then the below will rebind itself because the uh, what you have seen previously that will come in the below tables only if we see that fourth is showing with fifth sixth and seventh okay so fifth is in different group sixth in different group and seventh in different group and below also there will be same thing will be have same so from this what we have come to know that there are three complementation group there are three complementation group one complementation group is 1 6 and 7 the another one is of 5 and 2 and the another one is of 3 and 4 okay so there are three complementation group plus i can say that there are three genes present for the formation of arginine okay there are three genes present that are for that are forming arginine one gene is mutated in this one gene is mutated in this and one gene is mutated in this okay i hope this is clear let's see one more example so this concept is very much clear to you so in this question what is saying that we are studying about a bacteriophage that infects bacterium okay and hey eight we have taken eight mutants previously we have taken seven mutants here we are taking eight mutants that are unable to cause the lysis of bacterium so we are in the if it is positive then it is showing lysis and if it is negative it is showing the mutated type okay uh, because the mutated type is unable to show the lysis thus you don't have to go to this particular question or the statement very well because here you know that you have to find out if, if there is positive then it is that complementation is showing and if it, it is negative then complementation is not showing so finally what you have to find out that how many complementation groups are formed and how many genes have been identified that how many genes are involved and how many complementation groups are there so once again we'll start with m1 if we consider m1 as first complementation group part then it is showing with 2 3 it is not showing with 4 and 5 it is showing with 6 7 and 8 wt is wild type so we'll not consider this we'll ignore this all so first we can say that m1 is with m4 and m5 that this is one complementation group and m2 m3 m4 sorry not m4 m6 and m7 and m8 are in different complementation group because m1 is showing with them positive result positive complementation group then if we take considering about m2 
then m2 is showing with m3 that mean m2 and m3 are in different complementation group it is showing with m4 m5 m6 and 7 and m8 it is showing with all of them okay so m2 is showing different type of complementation group so it is in different complementation group then after that we'll see about m3 it is we showing with m4 m5 but not with 6 7 and 8 so m4 and m5 we have separated them previously then m4 is showing with 6 7 8 okay 6 7 8 they are previously in different complementation group and below it is the same thing as we have shown in the above because it is repeating itself so from here what we came to know that there are three complementation group that is first contains m1 m4 m5 second contains m2 and the third contains m3 m6 m7 and m8 and from here we also come to know that how many genes are involved so three genes are involved the first gene is mutated in m1 m4 m5 the second is mutated in m2 and the third is mutated in m2 m6 m7 and m8 so from here this question is also done i hope this question has helped you a lot let's see one more question same question you can pause the video and you can uh, you can solve this problem by yourself if you want to because these problems are like similar only but for clearing more concept we are doing them more and more so please pause the video and solve this question by yourself then please move forward with the video to check your answer so in this condition what is saying similar thing that we have taken a fungus that is oxotropous what is the meaning of oxotropous that it is not able to uh, form its own compounds its own food we can say or it can not form its own organic compound so that is mutant so what is the meaning if it is mutant then the wild type can form its own food or its own compound that is compound x okay so here a complementation test has been done positive is that complementation has occurred or prototrophs that is it can form the compound and negative is that it is oxotrophs that it can form it can't form the compound that is x so here we have found we have to found the complementation group so once again we'll see the mutant one it is showing result with 2 3 4 5 as in mutant 1 is in different group and 2 3 4 5 is in different complementation group then if we see about the mutant 2 uh, it is showing with 3 but it is not showing with 4 but it is showing with 5 so 2 is not showing with 4 so from here i can say that 2 and 4 are same group and 3 and 5 are in different group and 1 is in different group till now i can say that next let's see about 3 3 is showing with 4 but it is not showing with 5 it is not showing with 3 so 4 uh, is different and 3 is 3 uh, and 5 are present in same group so from here we came to know that 1 is one complementation group second and fourth are in one complementation group and 3 and 4 are in different complementation group so let's see the statement all the mutants belong to one complementation group no we have seen that there are three complementation group mutant fern form a one complementation group true while 2 3 4 5 form another no false third statement mutant one form one complementation group true 2 and 4 form uh, second complementation group true third and fifth form third complementation group totally true true so here we can say that the third statement is totally correct so here third statement is correct if we move further to correct to see so mutant one form one complementation group Two, two and form second two mutant third form another complementation group and four, fifth form another complementation group false each of the mutant belong to different complementation false so which statement is correct three c statements are the c statement is correct so these kind of question will be asked in your csir examination regarding to your complementation test you just have to see the positive sign and negative sign if positive sign is there then complementation has occurred different complementation group and different genes if negative sign is there then same complementation group and one gene is only mutated okay guys i hope this video has helped you a lot Thank you so much for watching the video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video with all your friends to help them crack CSI and NET examination thank you so much guys bye bye